call this meeting of OIK Fiscal Court to order on uh, this uh, 9th day of May, 2023, 5 p.m. Uh, I'm going to ask Mayor Jeff Fuquay to lead us in a prayer and place the flag. This Our Heavenly Father, we thank thee for this day. we thankful for the blessings that we have to live in this country. We pray that you continue to bless us in those things. Heavenly Father, we pray that you be with the Ohio County government tonight as they make decisions on matters that affect thousands of people and that you'll be with them and they'll look to thee for guidance and, and direction. Heavenly Father, we pray that you forgive us of our sins. These thanks and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mayor Fuqua. Uh, before you, you have the uh, April uh, 25th minutes. I need a motion. So moved. Motion by Larry Markey. Second. Second, right. Second by Jason, Jason Bullock. Is there any questions, corrections, or additions? Discussions? Corrections or additions is what I should say. If, if uh, none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. The minutes are approved. Before you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers, including a late list. Hear a motion to approve? I'll make a motion. Motion for Jason Bullock. I second. Second by Larry Morphew. Give us a second to look over the late list. Okay. 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 Is there any discussion on the bills, claims, papers, and transfers? If there are none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Uh, the Treasurer's April 20, uh, 2023 financial statement is before you. And we need to just show that she give it to us or prove it subject to audit, whichever you choose. I'll make a motion to give it to us. Okay. Motion to vote then. Second. Second by Larry Morphy. Any discussion? Any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Okay, this thing's, we need to renew the treasurer's bond. Now, if, if, if she shows up in court, we get the money back. I say that every year, don't I? Do we have that kind of money to give to give in the first place? Uh, but anyway, we have to prove her a bond. How much is it, Ann? I'm just curious. It's a million dollar bond. Okay. They just, we just have to take it to court because it has to be on record at the courthouse. Do you need a motion for that? Yes. So moved. Motion, motion by Larry Murphy, second by Jason Bullock. Any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Opposed, you care. We're just, not bonded for that much, are we? No, but I'd just like to say, I right. think that, that's a little bit low. What's that bond go by fiscal year or calendar year? Yeah, the $20 million budget. So, yeah. what are we bonded? Is it five, ten? <laughs> I, think, I, don't know. I think it's ten. Ten? Yeah. Or ten thousand a year, a million? Wow. I think you want to close the Exactly. Well, I think. Thank you, Michael. 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 Receipt for transferring the delinquent property tax bills from the sheriff to the county clerk 
uh, in the uh, of amount of fourteen thousand nine hundred seventy-five dollars. We need to prove that. Make a motion to approve. Motion by Michael McKinney. Second. Second by Barry Murphy. Any discussion? Being now, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. And you guys did just do that, but it, it's been revised. So I think it looks repetitive, that's why. Yeah. We've done it before, but it's changed. Um, we're ready for the second reading of the budget ordinance that we passed the last meeting. This is for the year we're in now. This is for uh, 20, uh, 20, uh, 23. Remind me again, I know we did, we, we had the budget amendment last meeting, but this is. Yeah. It has um, some co-severance money uh -huh. that um, a lot of times it'll flip from one fiscal year to another. We don't spend it all in one. It goes so you just carry it over. I have okay. to mend it in. Uh, our senior home care uh, had some extra money, and the mental severance tax was over, uh, and jail fees were up. And the, the main reason I needed to get those amended in is we were running low on reserves. I'll make a motion to accept. Uh, the second reading of ordinance 2023-10 uh, budget amendment. Second. Second. Motion by uh, Jason Bullock. Second by Larry Morphe. Is there any discussion? Being none, we need a roll call, Miranda. Bennett? Yes. Johnson? <laughs> yes. Callis? No. Morphe? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Motion carries, so that's uh, first and second reading been done, and it's uh, okay. Uh, the sheriff's fee account first quarterly report. Uh, I tell you what, might be a good time, sheriff, just come on up and tell us about that. And he's got another story there to tell us, I believe. Hey, can I ask a question real quick, David? Yes. We did the treasurer's <coughs> April financial statement, but what about the clerk's? Uh, it was swapped. We didn't get the clerk's financial statement, but she swapped it for the revised. Uh, um, okay. So we're not going to. We're not. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, we have before you the uh, sheriff's fee account first quarterly report. Um, it's in front of you there, and we need to. Uh, we need to prove that. I'll make a motion to Subject dollars, but that's uh, Jason Bullet. Second. Second to Michael McKinney. Any discussion? Any discussion on that? Being uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed aye. like sign. Motion carried. And sure, while you're up there, got some other things to talk to us about. Yes, as uh, <clears throat> Kind of bring y'all up to date. I think y'all are aware that obviously we all, we'll always have a problem with narcotics in our community. And just happened today is uh, National uh, Fentanyl Awareness Day. Uh, we're starting to uh, we're starting to slowly see that particular drug come into our community. Uh, that I know of, we've had a one overdose that is accounted for fentanyl. Uh, we're we're trying every day to cartel that situation. But every day is a battle because obviously when you know when we take somebody off the street, somebody always takes their, their spot. So just kind of you know just let that you and the community know as well that uh, fentanyl is involved in more than uh, more uh, involved in more deaths with Americans under the age of 50 years old. Uh, it's the leading cause more than heart disease, cancer, and homicides altogether. So just want to give you a little tidbit of information because it uh, obviously is bringing out word to y'all that we're starting to see this problem now. And uh, like I said, if you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer those as far as what we're doing. Uh, obviously, like I said, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a job every day. Uh, we did, uh, we busted somebody today. Uh, we're starting to see people manufacture meth like they used to back in the day with the old time meth labs. We got one of those today. So uh, I got some other things I'll discuss at the end of the meeting as well as what we're going to do there, but I just kind of want to bring that to your attention and also a bit of peace. So. I bet your, uh, your drug dog today came to the school, uh, Astro. 
Astro? Yeah. Astro. We met Astro. You no, know, we, we haven't yeah. sworn him in yet. No. no. <laughs> wow. Actually, you have. The same yeah. one? That is the same one. Uh, to save to save money, instead of buying a brand new one, we, we reuse that dog again. So it's only costing us uh, a couple thousand dollars to send uh, the new handler through with uh, yeah. With Astro and Astro, y'all may know the the deputy Kelsey Emery. Uh, she's tiny in statue, but she's our little dynamite. She's so she's she's a great fit. So yes. My breath. Uh, I just want to give some updates on the jail. Uh, we recently had our inspection, our state jail inspection on 419. Uh, went very well. Uh, said it was the cleanest he's seen our facility in a while. Uh, <clears throat> out of 73 line items, uh, we were complying on 70 of them, which uh, compared to other jails around us, uh, was pretty good. Uh, three that we got <laughs> knocked on were uh, stuff that I can fix in a day. One was a fire safety meeting. The other one was uh, some faucets in our cells were turned around the wrong way, which the inmates do. Uh, so those are very minute, small things that we can we can change pretty quick. Uh, we've implemented a mail scan service. I believe I spoke with you all about that uh, several months ago. That just started up this month. Uh, we are seeing success with it. Uh, everything gets downloaded to their kiosk inside the sale. Uh, cuts down on paper, cuts, cuts down on contraband, getting into the jail through the mail, which we've had happen here recently. Uh, we've also opened our rec yard back up, uh, the wellness center. Uh, very thankful to them. They have donated some equipment uh, for inmates to use. Uh, and I think it's good to get them outside, get some fresh air, uh, kind of helps their mindset. And it's easier on our deputies because they're the inmates are in a better mood and more compliant. Um, recently got a quote for our upgraded camera system. It's a Kentucky-based company. It's also a uh, correctional waste company. Everybody that's in this company has worked in corrections in the state of Kentucky somewhere, uh, some as high as chief deputies. Uh, that can all be paid for with commissary money, uh, which is money the jail makes off of inmates. Uh, and per KRS, it can only be spent on the betterment of the inmate or the safety and security of the inmate. Um, on the next page, we have, uh, I've been getting some quotes from local companies on uh, remodeling our office spaces inside the jail. Uh, it's an old building and then it's time to get some remodels done. Uh, everybody that was asked had to show proof of insurance. Uh, as far as uh, everything went, most companies were booked up, but we did get two quotes, one from Duff and Duff's and one from Beaver Down Building Supply. Uh, in order to cut down costs, uh, we'll be utilizing supervised inmate labor to do the demo and the painting once everything's done. Uh, Charlie Shields, I talked to him, he said he could get us a dumpster at a discounted rate that would also help cut costs. Um, to me and Ann, we've run the numbers, and I believe in our budget, I'll be able to find uh, some spots we can pull from to, to pay for those costs. And then several pages after that are all of our uh, quotes on the work and the cameras, and then pictures at the end kind of showing what we're, what we're wanting to get done. This office space was once utilized as the the jailer was required to live in the jail, and his wife was was uh, 
And she had to do the cooking, and it was all in the jailer's salad. And uh, that's, he had to stay there 24 7. That was the only two employees in the jail. So we've come a long way. It's also uh, National Correctional Officers Week. Uh, yes. So I just want to say my guys that have been there have really done a good job and really helped me out make this transition as smooth as possible. So I'd like to thank them as well. Uh, could you come up here and let me sign that proclamation with you behind me? Yes, sir. And we'll get, uh, <coughs> who's going to take a picture for me? Can you do it, Amy? Can you hand this down to her? So she don't have to walk on the <laughs> Get to look that little thing up. Get there. Okay. Anybody else? Yeah. Randy, you need to get in there to even it out. Okay. It's a pro client. Nope. So you said landing the, the, the construction costs, these two bits right here, that you, you have it in your budget, you think you can get, or? I believe so. Yes, we've uh, we've looked back and, and seen where we can kind of pull some stuff to, to make up that cost. And then the fourteen thousand dollars quote for the camera system is going to be used to commissary funds. Yes, sir. Right. Yeah, it all looks looks good. And I, I know that uh, I know you need to do that. Yes, sir. Uh, any other questions? Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank Congratulations you. on your inspection. Thank you. Uh, had solid waste, Charlie Shields down here, but he wants to talk to all of you individually before he brings it up. He wants another toy, of course. Uh, personnel thing. It's the force aware. Yes. Or did I miss that? Is that on here? Well, okay, we'll come back to this. Let's do the sports film air first, and then we'll do the person Okay. Come on, Jeff. You're slip by me, huh, Dave? Mm -hmm. uh, I had Miranda hand some of this out. This is just our balances. I'm not here right now to ask for any money. This, so this is right here. This yeah, this, this, yeah, this is it right here. Uh, you know, I'm sure a lot of you wondered why we've been here every week. And, we're glad every, you're here. Every meeting and whatnot. Uh, I'm definitely not the sharpest hole in the shed, but I do know where to ask for the file at. So, you know, I've, I've been here, uh, county water district meetings, grad meetings, and trying to absorb all that, that I can because I really think it takes everybody to make everything run. You know, it all works a lot better. A uh, big project we got going on right now is a water tank <clears throat> project. Uh, in 2016, the city got dinged with a, uh, uh, well, a particle issue with water. It got a citation. And uh, part of the agreed order was when we done the tank inspection in 2019, uh, we would do some work to the tank if needed. And so far, <clears throat> since 2017, our numbers have been below. Uh, one of our main problems was, was the water we was buying from Ohio County was at the level when we bought it, and then it grew in our system. And back in then, that's before I ever got involved, they got with Ohio County Water System and they uh, worked out a flushing plan and the numbers have been down. And in 2019, the, the state took the violation away, said we had complied and, and whatnot, but we still need to work on this, <coughs> this water. And <clears throat> I know y'all have been hearing about THMs and HAA5s and stuff about this water project at Sugarville, and that's what the problems we were having. The longer that water stands still, the more this stuff grows. What it is, is the particles that the chlorine kills in the water and and they bunch back up and there's that much chance that it could be a carcinogenic 
<clears throat> he's been drinking for 70 years. <laughs> but that's, that's according to the engineers. But we've had a little trouble with our engineering firm. Uh, they told us uh, last year that the estimate was $350,000. But when we got ready to bid it, we took bids and read the bids on uh, April the 4th. As you can see, the, the bid, the low bid for the tank, just to work on the tank was 317000 That's kind of funny that the total money we had on hand was 317000 Yeah, and not everybody got a bid package that was supposed to get one. But I can't prove nothing, so we're going to have to eat this. But in his estimate that he'd been giving us for two years, he did not include the tank circulator or the blower circulator. This is the engineer that wrote the agreed order for the state that he tells us in March that we don't have a problem with particulates in the water. I thought I was going to have to hold my city clerk down. <laughs> she got very angry. So this has thrown us into uh, of course, the 116,000 blower and circulation for the THM is what we really need, but it's 116,000. The good news is if we decide to take this, we do have cash on hand to do this, but uh, it's pretty well going to deplete us. And I, I met with uh, Senator McConnell's field drip. He came to Fordville the other day and talked to me about it. He's working with it. I got a meeting tomorrow with Joanne and, and, and Shaken Pinley uh, at grad before the grad meeting tomorrow. And uh, <clears throat> I just, you know, I want to let y'all know where we're at and what we're doing. Uh, we finally got on our feet. And we're, we're, we're trying to stay there and, and, and go. And, uh, but, uh, you know, also the, the city council, we're working with Adam. Uh, quite a bit. Of course, last uh, last month we talked about the the office opening up there. But me and Adams got a good rapport. Uh, his deputies, I talk to them quite often. They ask us what we need, what they need to look for, and uh, you know. And I've even been to the water district meetings, met with Eric and the board down there. Mr. Reed said I was the first mayor he's seen in eight years he's been on the board. But we all do business together, and we all know what's going on. But uh, I just want everybody to know I'm, I'm here to, to help y'all in any way we can, and, and hopefully, uh, I'll just say it out loud, we're having a little trouble for our manager. Uh, only time I talk to him is when he shows up down here. But, uh, you know, we need to know when monies are available. And I'm sure all of y'all talk to your constituents. And, uh, uh, we will definitely keep our eye on anything we will talk about for reports we will get up there. I know. I've got several things in my mind that might help you. Yeah, David, uh, we had David and Kenneth and, and Adam to dinner the other day. Had some good discussions. Uh, but the kiss up meeting, I, you know, it, it was, you know, we, we all got to work together. And mm -hmm. I think in the past, Fordville hadn't done the job of coming down here and getting involved and knowing what's going on. Uh, if y'all got any questions for me, uh, you know, uh, we, uh, but like I said, the, as far as the violation goes, it's, it's done and over with. And we don't have to put this removal system in there, but while well, we got it down, it's might as well try to get it done. And we don't have to act on our bids until the 4th of June. Uh, we had 60 days. How many bids did you get? We got three, but the low bid uh, was contacted and they wanted their bids withdrew because they, uh, they misquoted on the uh, uh, Blower. The, 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 blo the two blower projects by about half. I know y'all had problems here with the, uh, y'all thought maybe the engineers had messed up on that, but yeah, they when we contacted them, they had used a, an older pricing sheet 
And, uh, but uh, we was able to get the engineering firm to drop $10,000 off of their engineering thing. Because they've been every win you get. They they had been dragging their feet too, and, and I just called them out on it. But I appreciate it. I appreciate y'all coming. It means a bunch. Uh, there is another mayor in the house, but he hid in the back. Well, he he's known in Hartford every day, so yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. but he's one, he's one of them guys you can't miss. I know, I know. but we're proud you came and. And uh, I guarantee you that fiscal court here will do everything we can to I just help all six of our cities. If, oh, we appreciate if you can do this project in, in completion of everything that you've got listed here, I mean, it looks like currently in your uh, general fund, is there is there a deficit I mean, that you're going to have to overcome? Or? No, no. Now, uh, the two blowers I have down there, one of them 46,000, one of them 116, it's one or the other. We don't have to use okay. both of them. Really? If we if we go with the one sixteen plus the engineering fees, it's going to be four hundred sixty three thousand, and we have a little over one hundred fifty thousand dollars <coughs> on hand right now. And before the and before the project gets finished, we'll have our occupational tax comes in every quarter, and that's about forty thousand dollars every quarter. So that'll offset the that'll offset a lot of the difference. Yes. Yeah. We our goal is not to borrow any money. Well, that's good. And we, like I said, we'll keep our eye out for things too. And every once in a while it pops up. It does. All right, appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate you. Um, personnel. There's only one. I've got one here. This is the animal shelter. This is a vacant position. It's not a new one. Uh, the name is uh, Carol Lindsay. Attendant level one, part time, twelve seventy one an hour per hour. Um, the effective date is uh, immediate, so uh, I would uh, need a roll call on that. And there's money in the budget for it. It's replacing. It's replacing. It's replacing the position. Bennett. <coughs> Johnson. Yes. Morphew. Yes. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. <clears throat> committee reports. Has any committees met this since the last court meeting? Or have any reports to do? Uh, I have one for the jail committee, uh, regional jail committee. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what happened. But we, being myself, Judge Blainer and Judge Lindsay from uh, uh, Evanston County, along with Charlie Shields, who is the chairman of the Regional Jail Board, met with the governor last Thursday and was very encouraged. Uh, we were very encouraged on the uh, getting that uh, property uh, in the edge of Butler County we've been trying to get from the state. And, and I think it's just very promising it will happen. Hey, David, who is that? It's so Larry is still is still on the, is he still representing on the uh, jail board, right, back down? He had to remain inactive yeah. for 90 days, but yes, he's still okay. he, he I mean, and, and there's, somebody was asking me today, we've not put a new magistrate on the on that, have we? No, uh, there doesn't have to be one on okay. that. Okay, that's what he was asking me, and I said, I was trying to tell him who. Matter of fact, the only reason he was able to do it because he was going off. Okay. Yeah, normally there's not. Well, I told him, I said, Larry's still on there as far as I'm, yeah, yeah. I am know. And yeah, yeah no, normally the masters were not on it, but they knew he was going out and he had a passion for it. So, so he had to go off for 90 on. days and then come back on? Uh, okay. That's because of his retirement. Okay. He can't volunteer. Yeah. When you retire, you can't volunteer for the county. For yeah. that of time. Any other committees meet during this time? If not, we'll go to Magistrate's comments and requests. Michael? Uh, no comments or requests from the First District at this time. Jason? Me either. Bo? No. Larry? Is there an update on the water project down in the Chickerville? Yes. We've, uh, you remember at the last meeting, we voted to advertise mm -hmm. for bids. 
than we have. Will that be at the next meeting, Miranda, or two meetings out? Two meetings out. Two meetings out. I think so. I think it's a month from now that we'll accept those, we'll uh, not accept, read those bills, open them and read them. She's going to give you the day. That's all I've got, Josh. Okay. We're ready to proceed. Okay. 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 We're ready for citizens' comments. Uh, Sheriff? It's the 19th. It's, 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 uh, this will be accepted until the 19th. We'll open them on the 23rd. Uh, well, it's 19th right. is what next Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're taking bids until the 19th and we're opening them on the Yeah. Um, so open them in. We'll open them next quarter. Okay. My name is Daryl Hamilton. For those of you that don't know, most of you do. Most of you do. Uh, and thank you for the opportunity to share my concerns with you today. Uh, my major concern is, of course, you, everybody knows that this is a the highest rate of cancer in the area. One of my concerns is is the Fort Harper Harper project where they put that aluminum draws underground up there for years and years. And uh, I'm I'm very familiar with it. I think it's leaking into our Rough River. Goes down Rough River. We only have one water intake. It's at Hartford. It's Hartford owned, as I understand it. But they also are on the grid. They can pump to everybody else. Anytime there's a shortage anywhere, pressure goes down, they kick the pumps off. Uh, my concern is, is how to overcome this would be a fresh water supply. And the only way that we can do that is go further up creek to tap in. And I know that sounds major, but I'm thinking that maybe federal will, will pitch in. Uh, and probably cover all the cost. But uh, we've got water lines, large <coughs> water lines that haven't been in too long, way up in that area. Uh, you know, past 919, I think, is, does anybody agree with that? Uh, Highway 919? I think so. Yeah. And I'm a thinking that possibly we could, if we could tap into the reservoir up there, that, you know, that would take the Corps of Engineers and everybody to okay that. But if we could, we could reverse the flow, and it would still probably take 10 years for it to totally clean up. You know, and what uh, somebody was talking about, uh, the effect of killing the bacteria and stuff like that. We don't really know what all's in the water. Uh, we only know is what's on the report and what they test for. But anything else is, is going to be strange to us. And I think that there's a lot of things in that because I used to have a report. It got uh, taken somewhere or another. But I had an EPA report that told even the amount of thorium. Thor thorium is radioactive. It's minute amount. But it's still at the same time, long-term effect is bad. Would you be willing to serve on a uh, committee or a task force to, to investigate this and make recommendations? serve with some officials from Hartford and Beaver Dam, maybe Forestville? Probably would. Uh, I'm in a transition right now of downsizing, and that's, that includes I'm going to have to build another building and everything. So probably within probably four to six months, I'll get things loosened up. Okay, well, why don't we visit that that time, and I'll figure out who else needs to be on it. We'll okay. form a task force to really get to the bottom of this. Yeah. And I'm not going to rule out, but I can't promise it either until we all talk about it, uh, if we need some fundings for testings to come up with, try to come up with. Yeah. So, I appreciate that concern. Uh, Did they get your tile fixed in on your road? Ah, uh, they, they're working on that one, and they, they say that they're going to do more to it. And that's an issue there. Of course, it's a minor issue, but at the same time, it's a problem for the locals. Uh, the water comes down through there. It's not, it's not on the road, following along with the road parallel. And when it gets down to the, my neighbor across the road, his personal tile won't handle all the water. So it rises up, it comes out, comes down his driveway, and shoots across the road, our new blacktop road, 
into my ditch on my side of the highway and then goes down and back in under, uh, back to his side. But he's got the choke there, you know, that chokes it up. Yeah, well, I'd send him down there right if you talked to me about it. Yeah. But uh, I, I, the only way that we can fix that is if there's an extra tile to handle the, the large capacity there. <coughs> So that, if that's what has to happen, that's what we'll do. Okay, all right. Uh, of course, I don't want to forget the, uh, let's see, let me, let me find my notes. Reed Cemetery, uh, the uh, Equality Church Road has been closed for the mines, mm -hmm. they put a gate across it, and I, I, that's, a, that's a personal thing. Well, it's kind of like family down there. Yeah, we and have contacted both. the coal company. Our contact with the coal company, we, we've did that. Yeah. So hopefully you'll see someone down yeah. there address. Well, it. now I'm in favor of Joe Joe Barnes. I, you know, he don't do any wrong to me. But at the same time, he may be limited to how far they let him go. Yeah, know? but he he gives us other names. Yeah, he's a good guy. Good guy. Good work. All right. Thanks for everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, appreciate it. That's my biggest fan back there. Uh, back in the very back? No, Lord, no, not there. <laughs> this one here. Okay. The one in the back's adopted. He's not really right. So, uh, Thank you all for letting me come up here and talk real quick. I'm not, I'll be super quick about this, but I want to ask that you all accept. Uh, we did some bids the other day, uh, last two weeks, for two new vehicles. Uh, what we're looking for is a Chevy Tahoe. We put that bid out. Uh, only one person bid. It was a Bachman Chevrolet out of Louisville. Uh, they, they, like I said, they were the only place to bid. Uh, I'm asking if y'all would accept that. It's like I said, it's for a 2023 uh, Tahoe, white in color. We're going, to go, we're going to start keeping our fleet the same colors to have a mix, mixed colors like we have now. That matches the budget that we've already set out for your vehicle. Correct. Correct. For yeah. one of them. The other one I'm asking if you would take it out of the capital outlay. Uh, so that way that's where that funding is going to come from. Um, like I said, um, if y'all like to see the bed, I've got it here. Do we need to do those separate and or together? Go separate if you would. Go separate. <coughs> and we've got the money now. Yes. Yeah, we put it in his budget for the one. It's just taking a long time to get around to getting it. And the other is in his capital outlay account. So what, read the first one first, and we'll make a motion on it. Okay. So the uh, Bachman Chevy. Yeah. Bach, Bachman Chevrolet out of Louisville. Uh, they called us a bid for the 2023 Chevy Tahoe. And it came to the amount of... $45,617.92. Um, these tall holes, if you buy them on the market right now, they're going to be anywhere between $70,000 and $80,000. And right that was the only bidder? That was the only bidder. Y'all got the equipment to go in it, don't you? I'll have to do that. Yes, I'll have to purchase the equipment. Um, and like I said, we're going to, that money, once it gets here, we're going to pay for that out of the capital outlay. We are in the process of going through the impound and see what used equipment we can go ahead and throw in there as well. So. You need a motion on that, Jack? Yes. I'll make it. I'll second this motion for that. All right, more few seconds, but Jason. Uh -huh. Is there any questions any of you have for the sheriff? Miranda. Or the bank building fund? And make a motion that you know, motion and from right to check. Yeah. And then that's okay with you that I add the motion from right to check. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm um, folks say aye. Uh opposed like sign. Motion carried. Now the other one. Uh, the other number. That's the same bit, same same bit on that one. Oh, but I was that on two tiles there. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm confused. What did y'all just vote on? I thought you said we did, did, bid on, bid. We did one. Yeah, one okay. One tile. So then we need same bid on the second. Bid. I'll make a motion for the second. Okay. okay. <coughs> second tile. Same vehicle, same amount. Yes, yeah, and have a have right to check. Second. Okay. Got a motion set. Motion by Jason Bull. Second by Larry Borky. <coughs> Uh, any questions? Discussion, I think it's really the word I should say. Any discussion? Be none. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign? I just want to write in before you 
Yeah. Get them more out. Um, can I get a copy of that? Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, the second thing is, uh, in February, I don't know if y'all were in this, we had a vehicle catch on fire and burn up. It was a total loss. We lost everything. Um, the deputy that belonged to it did a phenomenal job getting some of the equipment out of it. Unfortunately, the, the fire started in the rear section of the vehicle, so we lost the computer up front, the radios. Uh, but he was able to get the rifles uh, and some other equipment out of the store. Uh, so think on how to replace that vehicle to get another one going. We actually, one of our detectives has a new uh, Dodge Durango, it's black in color. It's already equipped with blue lights and sirens. The only thing that we're going to buy is a partition board. But I think I have one impoundment, so it won't cost us anything. So what I would like to propose is the money that we have from the insurance company is uh, we found a, a pickup truck. Um, for less than $30,000. The amount is $29,995.50. Um, this vehicle, what we would do is we would move the detective out of the car that she is in now and place her in a truck. <coughs> because what she basically does is she transports children to CACs and it's, uh, it'll benefit better. And that way we can take her vehicle and put the strike package on it and put it on the road so we have another new vehicle. So essentially this year we'll put Basically, there are three new vehicles on the road, uh, and that came from, like I said, BF Evans Ford uh, for the $29,999.50. If y'all would be so kind of approve that, and that would come out of the, the insurance or whatever I need to out of capital. Yeah, much. I'll make a motion with the vehicle and the right to check, Michael. Does it match? Is it just a, you're saying a Durango. Does it match the Durango you have or something? So basically, what we got, uh, we got. I think it was thirty-four thousand dollars from the insurance. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. So this essentially, we're not using all that money, but this when we buy this truck, we'll put a newer Durango on the road and put her in, that, in the used vehicle. So. Okay. And a motion and second. Um, folks, say aye. Aye. Folks like that. Who was the second on that one? Yeah. Who second? Okay. Uh, um, I tell you what, you're getting better all the time, a little bit at a time. Uh, a former sheriff who used to be here was really good at that, Mr. Doolin. So you, you, you remember how he did it. Um, anyway, uh, any other business to come before the meeting? Anything else with good body? Uh, if not, then we will be adjourned and we'll be back here in a couple of weeks and uh, at the next meeting. And oh, by the way, I need all of you here at 430 at the next meeting for a brief road committee meeting to go over the flex proposal that I have for you which I will go over with all of you individually before then, a couple I already have. So anyway, we'll, talk, we'll if you can be here at 4.30, that'll give us enough time to talk about that. Come in. Okay, meet adjourned. We'll see you, buddy. Okay. See you, buddy.